Hi, it's me, Dean. I'm back. So, we are in July and it is summertime. And one thing that I've been thinking of doing is getting into reading my Bible and having a series in this channel so that we can get into the Word and understand the Word together. I was thinking about, you know what, since everything is brand new, let's start with the New Testament. Hopefully you guys can see in the camera focuses, New Testament, where I'm going to read Matthew, the Gospel. Um, I am not going to read the uh, the genealogy genealog of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to read that because it's basically explaining to you the foundation of the family, the family tree of Jesus Christ. So I hope you guys can see the green genealogy. I hope you guys can see. Hope the hopefully the camera focuses. But I'm gonna read. Um, chapter 1 still and I'm going to read 18 through 25 and I'm probably gonna provide the the verse for you guys so you guys can read along so this is the English Standard Version Bible I'm reading so it says now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way when his mother Mary had been betrothed to, to Joseph which means to get married or engaged before they came together she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit 19 and her husband Joseph which she wasn't her husband so this version is kind of uh, they were engaged um, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame resolved to divorce her quietly so 19 Joseph wanted to separate in this relationship because he found out that she was pregnant before they were married. So this version, I don't very really like it in this aspect because they weren't married. They were engaged to be married. So when they talk about divorce, I'm like, what are they talking about? But when I read other Bibles, you know what divorce means. Divorce means separation. So you really got to get deeper into the word that they're using to understand it. So divorce so resolved to divorce her quickly so he wanted to leave her quietly and not let people know that so they don't put her to shame and you know what happens when you're pregnant for marriage they would maltreat you and all that stuff and he didn't want that to happen so twenty said but as he considered these things behold an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream saying joseph son of david do not fear to take mary as your wife for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. So mind you, in verses 19, it says, being just a man and a woman, resolved to divorce, resolved to divorce her quietly. So I was like, what? Okay, so you got this term of Bible that's telling you that they're divorced, he wanted to divorce her, but that means separating. So right now, the angel is telling her, look, don't be afraid to marry Mary because it's the Holy Spirit that made her have that child, you know. So she will, 21 says, she will bear a son and you shall see him, you shall call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. So this child that Mary has in her womb is Jesus and he's going to come on earth to save us all all of us who are sinners because that's what he's going to do they're going to save his people 22 said all this took place to fulfill what the Lord has spoken by the prophet so what's being done has been told in the past and now it's becoming true so you see Jesus is be God is becoming flesh, okay? So this was told by the prophets. 23 says, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. So Jesus' name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel means the same thing. And it says, which means God with us. So if you hear Emmanuel, that means God is with us, okay? So Jesus is always going to be with us, okay? 
when Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord. So, as he was sleeping and he woke up, he obeyed what the angel told him through the dream that he can he could marry Marie. Um, so he commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. So, but knew her not until she gave him birth. That means when he said, okay, 25 said, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son. So that means Joseph never slept with Marie. So he never slept with Marie until she gave birth. And that's when, you know, Joseph get down with Mary. You know, that's when he get down with her. So, you know what that means. So that's when they went to bed together, have children together. Okay. So there was no sexual activities being done until she conceived Jesus. And cause she was without sin and all that stuff. She was a virgin, she was clean, and you know, God is pure. So nothing like that. There was no gay nasty being done, okay? So you know how it goes. And he called his name Jesus. So Joseph obeyed what was what was done obeyed what the angel said and he continued and married Marie and you know yeah this is very interesting you guys so next week we're gonna go in chapter two and I'm probably gonna break it down a little bit more the visit of the wise men okay the flight to Egypt Herod kills the children that's on chapter two the return of Nazareth those are next week so this week i'm going to study it more get more detail oriented into the video and break it down multiple terms so that you guys can understand it if you like this video and you like the thought that i'm going to do series based on matthews and break it down to understand it for the summer you know great so that's what i'm going to do so matthews have about let me see 28 chapters and we're gonna break this down in this month probably have hmm, 31 because last month we had 30 30 days so we're gonna have 31 days we had 30 last month I can't see for nothing so 31 days so we'll be able to read this by Matthew for the whole entire month together and if you like this video look you guys share it and remember thumbs up subscribe to my channel and later you guys bye